Welcome back to another quick tip. In this video, I'll show you two different ways to control reflections within your scene. This model here is available for download on the Keyshot Cloud Library. You can find the link in the description. For this first technique, we'll be editing the HDRI, which is found in the Environment tab of the Project panel. I'm going to switch the background of the startup environment to color, and then bring that to a dark gray. Now you can see in the real-time view that we've lost a lot of light, so we'll bring that back by adding in some pins. I'll bring in a couple to brighten up the sides and the bottom of the device and so on, but these will be fine-tuned later. Let's go ahead and create a reflection. I'll add a pin, switch it to rectangular, and then check half. You can see as I move this pin what that's starting to look like, and you can angle this pin as well. So I'm going to set that and then reposition it to the top right corner of this device. And at this point, you'll want to refresh that HDRI by clicking this icon. This is so you can view your changes in full resolution. Now with most reflections, you'll get a bit of fall off. So we'll go and add that by just adjusting the fall off slider. And with the right value, you can see this sort of gentle fade. And really that's about it. Those are the basics on reflections using the HDRI editor. And this is a really great option in many cases. But let's move on to the second technique, using actual geometry to create reflections. I'm going to turn that pin off for now and add a plane to my scene. I'll set the material of the plane to emissive and then change the color to white. It's important to also uncheck visible to camera so that your geometry doesn't show up in your rendering. And with the geometry view open, you'll get a better idea of where this plane is headed. I'm going to move it to the top right corner, kind of where we had that reflection we created with the HDRI. Now, if you want, you can go in and adjust some settings with the material itself, such as the intensity. And you can also change the color, of course. But the true benefit of using geometry for reflections is that it's very easy to control separately from the HDRI. So you might come across some situations where maybe you want to add reflections, but those additional pins within the HDRI are having undesired effects on the overall lighting of your scene. That's where you could try geometry instead in order to get those fine-tuned reflections. It's also a great option because it can give you consistent reflections that are easy to manipulate across different camera angles or part positions. Now that you know the basics of these two techniques, we would love to see how you use reflections to bring your renderings to life. Post your photos on Instagram with the hashtag Keyshot or share on our Amazing Shots forum page and we'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.